Longhorn is a content develop, uh, uh, developer. So we identify various learning gaps in the market and develop content uh, that will suit our market. Our market for a very long time has been uh, the educational uh, market. I mean, that's primary, secondary school, and tertiary schools. But we've gone into the general reading and non-academic content. That's been our market um, uh, of our, I mean, uh, that's been our area of focus over the last couple of years. And we are in around eight African countries, namely Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Zambia, Malawi, uh, uh, there's also Cameroon and Senegal. So what, what I'm seeing over the last, I would say, one or two years, you know, a key area of textbook, development of content for, uh, for the, in the textbook market, is a lot of government involvement. Uh, the impact has been so big that we are seeing quite a number of countries reviewing their curriculums. Uh, of course, being driven by uh, some of the global needs, okay, trying to focus towards the UN Sustainable Development Goals of providing quality education. So we're seeing a lot of countries, both in Kenya and our neighbors, changing the curriculum. So the impact of that is an almost complete overhaul of the content that we've developed for so many years for the textbook, I mean, uh, that's available in textbooks, so the educational space. But that has given us a huge opportunity to enter into new markets that we hadn't uh, gotten a chance to, to do so. So that's specifically the Francophone markets that was mainly dominated by uh, French uh, publishers or French-speaking uh, publishers. So we've seen that as an area of entry to grow our already uh, our, our current presence in the Anglophone space. So other than government, which will continue to have a huge impact in terms of a policy setting, uh, policy setting way, we see digital transformation as another key area. Uh, I would say a disruption in our business. Disruption in two ways. It's a good way and a bad way. Uh, I would start with uh, the good way in that we are now creating a whole new market, totally blue ocean, that can now consume content that, is, that they wouldn't consume before. Uh, you, you think of this when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is look at your phone before you say good morning to your spouse. Content has to be available on your mobile platform. And those are now the channels that we are starting to look at. And looking at our business, and some of our existing uh, value chain processes and saying the content, yes, we had focused on textbook and, and school-going children or, or, or learners. What about me and you? I consume content on YouTube daily. Why can't I have content developed locally for the African market? That is now the new space that you are looking at. And that has immense opportunities of growth and it's scalable. So th those are the key areas that I would say uh, I'm, I'm looking at and they are disrupting or enabling my business at the moment.